हेलो गाइस वी आर विद डबल डबल दिस वेरी प्रो सीनियर फर्स्ट मतलब जो भी है जो भी क्वेश्चन पेपर हो डाउट्स हो जो भी है वी गोड डबल ओनली सारा प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर्स सारा हम टॉपर है यहां पे 8.1 फर्स्ट प्राइस प्लस सीजीपीए प्लस सारे फोरो इंटर्न्स भी किया यहां पे सीएस भी है तो हम इंट्रोड्यूस कर लेते हैं डबल को डबल भैया इंट्रोड्यूस सो या हाय एवरीवन आई एम डबल पुंगलिया फिफ्थ ईयर स्टूडेंट एट बिट्स गोवा एंड करंटली आई एम डूइंग माय पीएच2 एंड माय डिग्री इज एमएससी केमिस्ट्री एंड बी कंप्यूटर साइंस सो या तो वी लास्ट सम प्रीटी पॉपुलर क्वेश्चंस अबाउट द ड्यूअल डिग्री एट बिट्स सो बिट्स हैज बीन वेरी पॉपुलर फॉर इट्स ड्यूअल डिग्री वी देयर वेयर इट्स व्हाट डू यू से अ गुड कोलैबोरेशन बिटवीन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सो द डिफरेंट ड्यूअल डिग्री एट बिट्स वन वी स्टार्ट ऑफ विद दिस इकोनॉमिक्स दिस बायोलॉजी दिस केमिस्ट्री दिस मैथ द इकोनॉमिक्स सो पीपल आर वेरी कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट व्हाट टू चूज एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन देम सो डबल डबल इट इज इंटीग्रेटेड केमिस्ट्री फाइव ईयर डिग्री केमिस्ट्री डिग्री फ्रॉम बिट्स गोवा सो व्हाट इज अ ड्यूअल डिग्री लाइक व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सिंगल डिग्री एंड ड्यूअल डिग्री so basically uh, based on your bits at score when you give the entrance exam uh, you get uh, you fill that allotment form right preference form in that you have two options one is the you can directly enter the uh, you can fill the single degree which is electronics or uh, computer science or civil mechanical or manufacturing in the case of pelani uh, not it's not in uh, goa campus but yeah now what happens is the other option which you have is a dual degree as he mentioned the five names generally what happens is if your score is lesser but you want to get into bits bits are score less hai but aapko acha hai ki aap bits jaise premium college mein aapko padhna hai तो यू स्टिल हैव दैट ऑप्शन कि आप वो प्रेफरेंस में आप नीचे की तरफ भरते हो जनरली एंड व्हेन यू गेट अलॉटेड दैट ब्रांच सो यू आर यू एंटर कॉलेज एज अ सेफ इन माय केस एमएससी केमिस्ट्री स्टूडेंट नाउ व्हेन बेस्ड ऑन योर फर्स्ट ईयर सीजीपीए यू आर अलॉटेड योर बीई डिग्री द अदर ड्यूअल डिग्री व्हिच इज इन माय केस कंप्यूटर साइंस देयर आर सम हु गेट अलॉटेड से मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग विद से एट द एंट्री एंट्रेंस टाइम दे हैड गॉट अलॉटेड सपोज बायोलॉजिकल साइंसेस सो दिस इज द यूनिक कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ व्हिच दैट helps you give both um, ms in chemistry msc in the science degree and a bachelor's in the engineering degree so yeah that's a uh, basic gist about the dual degree scheme over here yeah the thing is like if you get a even a moderately moderate score in bits at if you take a dual degree you can just work hard in your first year and then you can get a better degree like computer science or maybe electrical engineering even many of us were thinking like we got ec and triple e but then afterwards we were thinking that okay maybe if i chose an eco and then maybe if i worked in first year maybe we would have gotten computer science so that's always a dilemma but then there are certain demerits of being a dualite as well so can you talk about the demerits of being a dualite what is the negative things about being a dualite so i'll say as the name suggests dualite dual degree so you are studying two degrees simultaneously that itself is a very big thing in your third year like in my third year i had done courses of both chemistry and computer science so that is where it becomes a bit challenging in your second year you do only the sciences courses like whatever your branch is suppose economics you do only the microeconomics microeconomics those courses only whereas in your th- third year you have to do both courses of computer science and uh, chemistry it it becomes very hectic to manage seven eight courses at the same time which are your core uh, core disciplinary courses we call them as cdcs and uh, uh, this this is a major con i would say at the same time a major pro for uh, of of uh, dualite is in your fifth year you have the option of doing internship in both semester in your 51 and in 52 this is called the ps practice school uh, system at bits so the college allots you an uh, internship based on your cgpa and your preferences so it gives you a uh, you can explore more fields suppose aapne first semester mein you explored uh, in in 5 and i'm saying you explored software and you realize that okay this is not the thing for you then in 52 you can get into something like say product management or something else so that is one be- very major advantage that the dual degree students have over the single degree students but at the same time as i said three, third year is really really hectic so be prepared for that but uh, it's fun at the same time <laughs> That's the thing. But then, like, there's also high chance that you know many people screw up in first year as well. They think that you know, like, I'll get, I'll get into dual degree and then I'll study hard. But then they get very impressed by Goa and then campus life and then they get distracted and then they screw up. So that that's also a problem. So maybe if you're really really hard working and then if you really want to get into bits, then it's probably a good choice. But then it's got its you know negative side as well. So talking about double PS again. So in your fifth year, you'll have two PSs. So as a single degree. So basically, what practice school means is that that's a six month program where you can actually work in the industry where, and you'll get paid for the work that you do. So being a dual degree student, you get two pss right so the thing with two pss is that you will be staying away from campus and you'll be working in the industry over there and you'll be getting industry exposure for an entire year so that's you're almost being like a full time okay okay and the problem with that is that the good thing right? so you have a better chance of getting a ppo and you have better industry experience so that's why maybe people prefer dual as well so i'm a single degree student so there are times when i have thought like maybe i i could have taken dual maybe i could have worked to get a computer science degree so how was your experience of ps like what was your how was your ps so i'll say it was a great exposure and so life in the corporate world is very different than in college life so i got that exposure and that was really important before you start as a full time employee you must get some corporate exposure as an intern 
because um, it, it's really uh, helpful that that helps you get the um, experience which will help in the long run as well and um, i'll say that um, uh, ps2 was this pro that it's a special program by bits and that's that's honestly the best thing because the co interns which we have in our company they have given all the rounds the coding rounds the interviews and they have gotten through for that internship while we at bits as bitsians we get that internship directly that's also honestly a major advantage of of this ps program at uh, bits so yeah <laughs> Yeah, and the PS program is purely designed based on your CGPA. So if you fuck up your CGPA, and you'll get, you'll probably get a pretty bad PS. Right? So but that's the good side and that bad side of being having PS, right? So some people they study really hard, and then they get a good CGPA, and then they get a good PS. But then some people they don't strike a balance, so they have to find out other ways. You know, they have to explore other skills and other technologies. So like, did you explore other skills? Like, did you learn outside of academics? What did you learn outside of academics? How was your? What did you learn? So uh, outside of academics, I'd say that um, I learned um, basically. Um, Excel, <laughs> like right now I'm working as an analyst. So Excel and SQL is one thing that we use extensively. And there are these are there were a lot of soft skills that are required in the corporate world. Obviously, Bits did give me an uh, edge over uh, that. It helped me gain those soft skills that that helped me in the internship. But at the same time, um, a lot of things that are taught in the college courses um, directly they're not used in the industry. So till you don't get that industry exposure, you won't grow. Is what I feel in in terms of corporate uh, experience. So yeah. Good job. Yep. And yes, and then in your as a dual, you get a chance to do both thesis and practice school. So maybe if you're in, as a dual, maybe if you're interested in science, maybe you want to try out doing research of one semester. And maybe if you don't like that, if you don't like doing research, maybe you can do interesting experience of both semesters. So do you ever think about doing a thesis? Like do you ever plan on doing a thesis? So uh, in my three two, I had this course called Instrumental Methods of Analysis uh, in Chemistry, and that was one course, lab based course, which really inspired me to do actual. Uh, research in chemistry i have also done a couple of research internships from like aizar pune and they gave me some um, great uh, insights about research but then uh, that, that 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 was when i was actually thinking of pursuing a phd in chemistry but then um, somehow uh, in my fourth year i dropped the idea but point being that this science just because i have a science degree it it will it gives me an edge that i can go for a direct phd in that uh, phys in that uh, branch like i some of my friends have gone for direct phd in maths in chemistry a batchmate has gone to virginia tech university so yeah these are all i'll say uh, depending on your interests and what you do in four years of college life how you explore you should definitely explore all these the the, the internship side as well as the research side and that will give you an understanding of what you actually like to do and Moreover, it it tells you what you don't like. That is more important to understand. In college, is what I feel. कि आपको क्या नहीं पसंद है. वो पहले आप पता करो. फिर आप उस चीज़ में देख पाओगे कि क्या पसंद है possibly. So yeah, research. मेरे को पता चला कि नहीं मैं research type का बंदा नहीं हूँ. I I I don't like research. This I realized after I did an, a research internship. So I, that's why I never uh, thought of doing a thesis hmm. instead of a practice school. Hmm. So yeah. Got it. Got it. And many of you, since you just graduated, you're in 11th and 12th. Probably you have you developed an interest towards physics, chemistry, and math. So if you're interested in pursuing that further. Then probably dual degree is a very good option for you because you'll be able to continue on your sciences and at the same time you'll be able to choose a degree which is like some like electrical engineering or computer science which might actually help you get a good job in the industry. So that is there. And the problem with being a dual degree student is that you will be studying for five years and bits fees has been increasing exponentially over the years. And the problem with that is like many people are you know they choosing like maybe why should I come to bits? But then there are certain obvious advantages and uh, there are certain things to note as being a dual. Like how do you get? Um, Uh, what are the scholarships involved what are the advantages involved let maybe double click tell you about so uh, yeah fees thing is real it is it is high i won't deny that but at the same time our college provides a few schemes to help uh, you with the fees so basically there's this thing called uh, mcn merit come need based on your if if your uh, family income is less than a particular uh, thing probably it is 10 or 11 yeah, lakhs i'm not sure but yeah uh, then you can apply for this program and you get a uh, safe 60 percent, 80 percent, 100 percent scholarship. Second type of uh, uh, scholarship is the merit scholarship, which is purely based on your uh, CGPA. And uh, if it is uh, uh, say nine, if your if your grades are more than nine or nine pointer, ten pointer, then these are generally for the high graders. High. And another option is you can also avail for a loan. A uh, friend of mine had done that, and there's uh, you can there's a local branch of your State Bank of India. F you get a loan from them, and after you graduate, you repay. So there is some interest. I'm not sure of the exact details. Uh, maybe you can add it in the description. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the contact number also you can maybe yeah, add yeah, and get yeah. in touch with the bank. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, these are the.
some of the options that will help you uh, for the fees. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, and then the how it works, the how the loan system works is that maybe if you just uh, just after you graduate, six months after you graduate, till that you don't have to pay any interest. But then once the six month period gets over, after your college gets over, you'll have to start paying back your loan. And maybe if you're doing a master's along just after your bachelor's, maybe then it becomes a problem afterwards. So you'll just have to check that out and just clear clear it off with the bank as soon as possible. Yeah, I think in, that's it. Double. Anything else that you want to add? What anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, one. Yeah, so I'll talk about one important thing. So since we spoke about the dual degree scheme and all, I'll just give some tips on uh, studies. Uh, so as of when you when you enter your first degree uh, first year, as I said that CG is important for getting the dual degree, other degree. For that, I just give a few tips that first of all uh, be consistent, study regularly, hard work will always pay off. First of all, uh, secondly, I'll say that. Break lena kya? Lena. Secondly, I will say that I'll give you an example. Say if you have a lecture between uh, 10 to 11, and the next lecture is from uh, say uh, 12 to 1, so you have that one hour of break in between 11 to 12. Us time pe don't go back to your room. <laughs> go to the library instead. <laughs> so, wo ab jo uh, 45 minutes ab library mein baith ke ab padhoge, and uh, instead of that, say you go to the room. 10 minutes you will take to go to your room. Then just maybe if you have 10 minutes left, 25 minutes. Usme se 20 minutes ab padhoge, reels scroll scroll karoge. Ya fir kuch aise random uh, social media pe time pass karoge, YouTube shorts wagera dekhoge. Ya fir उससे बेटर अगर आप लाइब्रेरी में जाओ 45 फाइव मिनट्स आप इफेक्टिवली पढ़ाई कर पाओगे सो दैट इज वन सजेशन विच आई गिव अनदर थिंग फाइनल थिंग वट आई सेज आफ्टर फाइव ओ क्लॉक आफ्टर वन ऑल द क्लासेज आर डन गो फॉर एक्सरसाइज लाइक हाफ एन आवर वन आवर डिपेंडिंग ऑन विच स्पोर्ट यू लाइक वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शन ओ यर आई एम सर यू मस्ट हैव टोल्ड अबाउट दैट इन वन ऑफ द वीडियोज एंड After that, come back to the library. The library is open till 11 generally. So, like you still have those three four hours. Mm. Usme one hour you can maybe do some of your club department work, and you still have effectively a lot of time to study. I'll say that focus, uh, that spend that time on your studies. That will definitely help you yep. to true. get your dream uh, branch. Yep. And all the best to all the aspirants. Yep. Thank you so much, Abhul. Thanks, man. Thank you for coming. No on. problem. Like, share, subscribe to yes, the channel. Bro, thank you so much. Yes. Karde na bhai, bro. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. I think we're off. Okay, between.